could call it one man and a dream. A local educator wanting to bring a community center for kids and teens to an area of Columbia that could use a lift. It is a vision that he only received when he came back home to teach. And you know what? Greg took a ride with him to see what exactly he has in mind. When you leave a place only to return to that place, sometimes you see that place in a different light. What's changed? What you've missed? What's needed? Roderick Flewellen grew up a stone's throw from Decker Boulevard in Columbia, here at this apartment complex. Believe it or not, man, they are in the same condition they was when I was there. Hard work and a dream propelled Roderick from humble beginnings in apartment C66 to the gridiron, first as a star running back for Richland Northeast, then to the college ranks at Winston-Salem State. But when he returned home to this area of Columbia nearly 10 years ago to further his teaching career, reality hit even harder than a linebacker. I saw a lot of businesses um, leaving. I saw a lot of the places that I visited, such as the skating ring or the Forest Lake Recreation Center, all closed, which include um, the Columbia Mall and as well as the movie theaters nearby, just um, uh, closed drive down Decker Boulevard and it's all but abandoned. This used to be an olive garden. This was a red lobster. This was Chick-fil-A. Businesses shuttered as the neighborhood has suffered from a surge in crime. Garcia SD posted video of two armed robberies, one at a Dollar General on Decker Boulevard, the other at a Dollar General on Two Notch Road. I'm disgusted and frankly afraid. Less than six and a half hours into 2019, and five people had already been shot in Columbia at Faces Lounge on Decker Boulevard. Deputies tell me they've responded to the sports bar more than 50 times in the past three years due to calls of complaints ranging from fights, alcohol violations, multiple shootings, and even a murder in 2017. Just seeing the increase in juvenile crime rate just really sparked the idea, so I finally decided just, just go for it. And what really stuck out to me the most was really, um, I thought about the students and, and, the, and the youth in this area. Like, what is it for them to do now? That question sparked a vision. And so we're gonna make a left one here on two notch because there's a few buildings that I saw and it's also another building up there that, that would be ideal. An ideal spot for Roderick's dream, the 180 Community Center, a place he says will represent change not only for kids and teens he hopes to serve, but also the community. Tutoring service, mentoring service, um, counseling service, food bank, um, basketball, gaming area, um, and a place for them to just hang out um, in a safe place. His vision comes from the heart. By day, Flewellen is the assistant principal at Jackson Creek Elementary School. I guess me being in from the community and being able to come back and work in the community, I was really able to identify the needs of the community. And just providing a safe place for kids to go um, seemed to be a need, which will eventually keep them you know, out of trouble. While some people see decay and dead ends, I see potential. I can envision the, the students already coming in. I can envision the volunteers. And I can envision change and a difference happening within the building. That change, that difference, may soon become a reality. All because one man came home and saw what was and now asks, why not? <laughs>